Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixum Perfect. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day as always and turning this day into a beautiful one. By the way, very, very merry, merry Christmas to you and yours. And I hope you have a wonderful time ahead and also a very happy new year. I hope that 2022 is a little more easier on us. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of tricks to add shine to jewelry in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the mysterious world of Photoshop and this photo is licensed from Envato Elements and of course you can download a free preview by clicking the link in the description and I always highly recommend Envato Elements and I've been using it constantly for the last two or three years now. It has everything for one subscription fee. You can download unlimited amount of things as opposed to other stock programs or platforms where you have to pay for each and every asset. You don't have to do any of that. I just recommend that you go to their website and just check it out. You don't have to get a subscription. Just check it out. Check the link in the description. There might be some offers, but just check it out. You will be surprised to see how much you can get. Anyway, back to the lesson. The very first thing that we're going to do here is to add some highlights. So first of all, let's create a new layer by clicking on the new layer button. And then let's just zoom in to one piece of the jewelry. Now let's name this layer highlights. Take the brush, make the brush a little bigger so that you can paint in the highlights. Now what color to paint you might ask? Well, there are lots of options. You can either hold the alt key or the option key click to take a sample of the highlight color or you can choose the color of your choice. In my opinion, I would choose a little warmer color so that it doesn't end up being greenish. So let's choose something like that. Hit OK. Now make the brush a little larger and all you got to do, you might have guessed it already, just dab. There you go. That's it. And you can do the same thing right here as well. Just add one more shine here. I know it's not looking all right. Just wait for it. Patience is the key. Let's do it here a little bit. We will remove the extras later. Don't worry about it. Let's do it at the top part. Similarly on the other side. And now let's do it here as well. Just a little bit. There you go. Now, does it look wonderful? Not at all. It looks rubbish because we still need to change the blend mode. So what is the blend mode do you think we're going to choose? We will choose a blend mode which brightens stuff. Now, there are lots of blend modes that do that. Remember, blend modes are divided into groups. The second group here is for darkening and the third group here is for brightening. And the one we're going to choose here in this case is called Color Dodge. Now, inside the jewelry is looking nice, but outside the jewelry, it's not. Also, at the same time, we want to create highlights here. So how do we make the highlights a little more realistic? By making the highlights react to what is underneath it. The size of the highlight is exactly the size we painted. However, you might have noticed that whenever there's a highlight on a darker surface, the light or the highlight is a little smaller, right? And whenever there's a highlight on a brighter surface, it is a little bigger. We see this with black and white cars all the time. So why cannot we apply it right over here? Well, to apply it, double click on the right hand side of the layer and then just uncheck this one, transparency shapes layer. We don't want transparency to shape the layer. We want the interaction to do so. So as soon as you uncheck that, have a look, the whole dynamic changes. I'm going to do that one more time for you. Here's the before, here is the after. Isn't that fantastic? Hit OK. Now the highlight is at other places too. We need to take that away from there. But apart from that, it's just brilliant. One another interesting fact to keep in mind is that Color Dodge is one of the eight special blend modes. Now remember we talked about it before, the eight special blend modes react differently to opacity than fill. Fill controls the projection here. If you just decrease the opacity, it's gonna make it simply more transparent. That's all there is to it. But if you decrease the fill, it controls the projection. That's what we want to do here. Let's zoom out. Let's take a look at the whole thing. And by the way, you can also do it for the chain if you want. You can take the time to do it. In this case, let's decrease the fill even further. I feel that about 60 would be fine. Now, what I also love here is that have a look at the highlight on the chin. The light reflecting off of the jewelry, it is just looking brilliant. But in some cases, it can be too much. So you can simply take an eraser. Now keep in mind, mask won't work that nice. If you just create a mask and then if you paint that area in black, it's just going to simply erase that away. It's not looking realistic. But if you use an eraser here, because we have transparency shapes layer checked off, this will be a completely different reaction. So if you use the eraser, see? See how it's being erased with all that glory and the highlight? So we can keep the highlights wherever we want. Now, I love the highlight in the chin, but from the middle, it needs to go. How about this area? A little bit highlight on the hair is fine. So we're going to just decrease the flow to around 10% and slowly and gradually erase that from here. Similarly, we can do it right here. 
Now, what I also love for these highlights are these reflections on the chin. So why don't we extend it a little bit? So let's create one more layer. Let's name this highlights reflection. Take the brush, same color right here. And now we can just make the brush a little larger. Make sure you change the blend mode to color dodge already and double click on the right hand side and just uncheck that so that you can already see what is happening in real time. Now let's just dab right here. We added a little more of that, a little bit here too. All right, and let's add a little bit on this side as well. Now, of course, we only want it on the chin. So let's create a mask in this case because we don't want to erase it with glory. We just want to completely erase it from that area. So take the brush black as the foreground color and just completely take that away from the areas where you don't want it. Now you can go ahead and decrease the fill according to your wish. So I'm going to keep it at about 45%. That's fine. This adds the overall glow. Here's the before, here's the after. And for the edge shine, let's create one more and repeat the same process. Color dodge, double click on the right hand side, uncheck that, hit OK, take the brush and just these edges is what we will paint. Similarly on this side as well. Now it's time for us to remove the extras, of course. Create a mask and just simply take those away. By painting with black, keep in mind black hides and white shows. Once that is done, we can start decreasing the fill. Let's go with 40 here. Now, the only thing that is bothering me here is that this area has too much of it. And I think it's from this layer. So let's get back to that. Take the eraser with flow at 10% is fine. We're gonna erase the extras. There you go, that adds slight bit of it and I absolutely love it. After you're fully satisfied with all of the highlights and the reflections, let's not forget to rename the list. This one was Highlights Reflection 2. Now how about we add a slight glow to it? That's going to be our next step and for that we're going to use also a lightening or brightening blend mode. Let's create a new layer by clicking on the new layer button and let's name this Slight Glow. Let's zoom in again and we're going to dab in the same areas with the same color. If you want to warm up the color, you can. That's up to you. Make sure the flow and opacity are at 100% and just dab. And why is it not dabbing? Because the eraser is <laughs> selected. Let's choose the brush and then dab. The color isn't looking that nice. We're going to make it a little more yellower like this. Hit OK and just dab right over here. Let's do the same thing here as well. Similarly, in other areas. OK, now. We only want to brighten it. And this time we want to choose a blend mode that hides everything that is 100% black and shows everything that is 100% white and it follows that gradient. So let's go ahead and change the blend mode to screen. It's going to be in the same group, of course. And there you have your glow. Now, of course, this is too much. So let's decrease the opacity here again. Let's go for something like 41, 42. How do you feel about that? There you go. Now, of course, you can remove the extras by clicking on the mask. Take the brush, black as the foreground color, and just simply erase. Leave a little on the outside. Similarly, let's do the same right here. Leave a little. Let's not forget that. Great. Let's take a look at the before and after. Adds that slight glow. Here's the before. Very plain. Here's the after. Adds that smooth beauty to that jewelry. Now, to make things shine even more, one of the things that you can do is to darken the areas which are not shining. So let's zoom in and take a look at these dark areas. If we darken it even more, it will bring out the areas that are shining more, right? So let's create a brand new solid color adjustment layer. And this time we want to darken those areas. And what is the blend mode which darkens? Multiply. So first of all, let's create a solid color adjustment layer. Let's choose a darker version of the same color. And by the way, you can change the color later if you wish. Hit OK. And change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Have a look, it's darkening those areas, but we don't want to darken the entire image. So select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I, Take the brush and just dab with white in these areas. Make sure you're using a soft round brush, flow and opacity at 100 and just simply dab. That's all. Similarly, let's do the same right over here as well. And of course, for the other areas like here, a little bit there and a little bit at the top, just like this. All right, there you go. Now, it's not looking all right, I know, because we don't want to add it to the highlight areas, to the absolute highlight areas. For that, double click on the right hand side of the layer and using Blend If, we're going to take it away from the bright areas of the underlying layer or the layer that lies under it. So take the slider of the underlying layer from right to left. Again, we want the transition to be smoother. So hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the slider to break it apart and take it all the way apart like this. Hit OK. 
Now let's take a look at the before and after. Here's the before, here's the after. Of course, you can change the color to your wish. So double click on the symbol of the adjustment layer and just try different colors and see how they suit it. I'm gonna make it a little more saturated. Let's make it a little more reddish. Hit okay, that looks better. And now you can come back to the mask and remove it from excessive outside areas. Take the brush, black is the foreground color and just remove it. If you feel that there are some areas you have applied excessively, you can also remove from there as well, even inside the jewelry piece. There you go. Want to have a look at the overall before and after. So of course, this is the after, this is the before. Very plain, very flat, and this is the after. Now, of course, this looks good to me, but again, this might be too much for a lot of people. So I always recommend that you make a group of all of your adjustments. So select the first adjustment here, hold the shift key, and select the last layer with the adjustment. Press Ctrl or Command G. And now you can just decrease the overall opacity of this group. Let's call it Jewelry Shine. Before, after. And you can control the opacity according to your preference. For this case, we can choose something like 44, before, after. Might not look like much, but it adds a lot of difference. If you zoom out and look at the overall image, before, after really drags your attention to that piece of jewelry and i'm very sorry guys i'm really very sorry some of you know what i'm talking about so that's how to add shine to jewelry in photoshop now the trick here is simple use the color dodge blend mode with a color that you want to create a highlight of then simply go to the layer styles by double clicking on the right hand side of the layer and uncheck transparency shapes layer we want the highlight to interact with that of the image that's beneath it and then decide how the transparency goes this gives it a realistic edge and then you can paint in as many highlights you want you can paint in the dark areas you can add glow that's up to you but the trick here is simple again color dodge with transparency shapes layer checked off and start painting those highlights i hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips tricks or tutorials i would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting pix imperfect on patreon and helping keep pix imperfect free for everybody forever thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time i'll see you in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating